Hi, this is Adrian from White Hat Box. Today I'm going to show you XSpinner, which is a spinner API, which is faster than any API you've ever used before, and it's completely unlimited. You can spin as many articles as you like every day. And the reason you can do both of these things is because XSpinner works on your own computer, so it's always accessing its own hard drive, which mean, which is why it's very fast, and which is why you have unlimited spins because your computer doesn't mind how many spins you have. So that's why it's very powerful. Now, XSpinner supports all your favorite softwares, it's pretty much all software that you use, GSA, Content Machine, Scrapebox, SC New, anything that's got a spin API in it, you can use with XSpinner. Today we're going to use GSA just to, to demonstrate the software and first we'll just have a look at the options you've got in this GUI. So you've got the free spin and this will spin very well. Um, it's got some basic settings here um, but there are limitations in as much as you can't do multiple spins simultan simultaneously. Then we've got the normal spin technology. There's some, a lot more settings here. And you can do multiple spins simultaneously through the uh, XSpinner API. And then there's the super spin setting with a load of settings um, with far too many to explain here. So we just want to show you the spinner in action. So I'm going to go back to the normal spin setting where we can demonstrate a few of the settings for you. So first of all, we'll just use the settings that appear when you first open the software, the default settings. So there they all are, and all I have to do is click Start. And that's the, the, the XSpinner API sat there, running, waiting for you to spin. Now, we need something to spin, so we'll spin this. Just an article I picked up off Ezine. And we're going to GSA, and paste the article into the top window. Now, this is the amazing part of XSpinner. You don't need a special XSpinner API because it can use the best spinner, Spin Rewriter, or Word AI. All you do is, let's use Spin Rewriter. All you do is enter anything you like in there and anything you like in there. That's all you need to do. Now, all I, use, all I do is click Use Spin Rewriter. Watch for the bottom here. And there it is, the article spun. Now, how fast was that and how powerful is it? So let's go back to XSpinner and change a few settings just to show you it working. Let's change the number of synonyms. Currently, we're going for three synonyms in each bracket. Let's go for, uh, let's try five. Go back to GSA and spin again. And you can see now there's one, two, three, four, five in each uh, bracket of the spin tax. Let's have a look at another setting. Uh, we could uh, spin to a new article. Um, and let's um, change that down to one. So we're now just going to spin a new article now. Uh, without the spin tax in GSA. Hit use spin rewriter and there it is spun. Now that's very very fast I'm sure you'll agree. You don't need a, any sort of spin API. Um, it, they are all there in the software that you're using already. You can use spin rewriter, you can use the best spinner or you can use Word AI. You just stick anything in the username and password and you're away. It's unlimited. You can have as many spins as you want. You can even run XSpinner on a server to provide a spinning service to your own users, or you can even include XSpinner in your own software. That's it. I'm sure you'll agree. That is absolutely amazing. I know you're going to love this one. Thanks very much for watching.